graceful welcome to my channel i'd like to start off by wishing zelda a very happy birthday before i explain this month's look let me apply some seba med moisturizing cream all seba med products contain probiotic care complex which protects your complexion from environmental stressors their product line can be found at costco and next from Il Maquillage, I'll be applying their No Filter Poreless Base Primer. Welcome to April everyone and welcome to this month's Curve Collab where we'll be creating Flapper Girl Makeup Look Styles. First, let's clear the air about what a Flapper Girl actually is. Obviously, there are some misconceptions about what the Flapper Girl actually is. So let's go into it. I will read you the definition from history.com as I apply my Julius Place eyeshadow base in shade number two. While the exact origin of the term flapper is unknown, it is assumed to have originated in Britain before World War I when it was used to actually describe gawky young teenage girls. Mm -mm -mm. Say it isn't so, so I was a gawky girl? Today I'll be using Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana, which is an 18-pan eyeshadow palette of the most creamy, mattes, metallic shimmers and frost you could ever find. Instead of reaching for a palette that had black in it, I decided upon this palette Black is what you will see most often featured in old photographs or even current photographs when it tells the story of a flapper girl. I selected the shade Nightfall, which is a creamy neutral brown. And I've placed that in the outer V of my eyelid and I'm sweeping that across my crease and then blending out to diffuse that shade. To create this look, it took a whole lot of blending, but I edited a lot of that out because if not, the video would probably be close to 90 minutes. I could have left the look here with just the smokiness of the brown, but I wanted some contrast, so I picked up another shade. This next shade is called Eternal Armor, and it's a coral rose with a platinum sparkle. And I'm choosing to place this on the inner corner and sweeping this across the entire lid until it meets the brown shade. Now that I've explained my palette choices, let's get back into the flapper look. Going back to my article on History.com, after the war, the word flapper became synonymous with the new breed of the 1920s woman who bobbed their hair above their ears, wore skirts that skimmed their knees, smoked cigarettes, and drank alcohol while dancing in jazz clubs, always surrounded by admiring male suitors. I'm going to insert a couple of photos that you'll see that these women just dressed normally, but their skirts would just be a little bit higher. But... Marketing took over and costuming began. Unlike anything else, designers took full advantage of this opportunity, designing beautiful dresses, evening wear, gloves, you name it. The hats, the feathers, well, you know how the story goes. Now, guys, it's time for my complexion. I'm using the Il Maquillage, the After Party, 
Full Coverage Foundation. This is in shade number 170. In addition to dressmakers making lots of money off of these new costumes, the cosmetics industry flowered as women use makeup in large numbers. I am certain that the most sought after items were black eyeshadow and red lipstick. Now that I have my foundation completed, I'll now brighten my under eye with a little bit of setting powder by the crayon case. This is their chalk dust in shade number Y. For this look, I'm going to be skipping the bronzer and I'm also going to be skipping the blushers. But I need to tell you something really funny. Guess where flapper girls apply their blush? Can you believe on the kneecaps? <laughs> to create my thin eyebrow effect, I'm going to be using a Jordana pencil. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. I'm just skimming over the top portion of my eyebrows to give that thin eyebrow effect. And hopefully my eyebrows don't show up as much. I'm going to try to cover them with as much powder as possible before drawing on my eyebrows. So you guys let me know in the comment section how I did with this. Now it's time to brush away my setting powder and move forward with my look. Using a pencil brush, I'm applying a small amount of the shade Nightfall to the underwater line area and I'm connecting that to my outer V area. Once I have the shade in place, then I'll take a blending brush and I'll smudge that out. Now it's time for my lashes. I'm using the Kiss Liner Lash Glue in the shade Black. The lashes that I'll be applying today are from Timu and they're a 25 millimeter size and volume. These lashes are super curly and fit this look to a T. Now that I have applied my eyelash, I can see exactly where I need to blow out this shade under the waterline. I hope that you guys have learned quite a bit about the Flapper Girl and the Flapper Girl style and that it has served to dispel many untruths and disbeliefs about the Flapper Girl experience. This was a time period of self-expression and freedom for women in the 1920s. I am attaching my last eyelash and then we'll move on to the red lip. Now it's time for the lippy. I have two 
lip liners here. I'm going to use my magnifying glass because I'm having technical difficulties with this left lash. So, first let me put a little bit of moisturizer on my hands. After applying makeup, always, always wash your hands. So, almost finished, guys. We're down to the last frame of this video. What an experience this has been. I love our things every month. I appreciate Leanna Dalton for coming up with this particular theme. As a matter of fact, um, if you didn't hear in the beginning, she did create or the concept is hers of the next three things. So for April, May, and June, we have Leanna Dalton to thank for those. All right. I love this single med. Oh, my hands feel so good. So you can imagine what it do for your complexion. All right. So these lip liners. The first one, this is, yeah, this is from Avon Glimmer Sticks, and this is called True Red, and it's a warm, very warm red. Is there any left? Yep, there we go. If you can see that red, I don't want to take it up too much. And then this one is by NYX Professionals, and this one is called, let's see, oh, turn it the right way first. This one is called Rouge, Red Hot Rouge by NYX. So I'm going to attempt to overdraw. See, there we go with this lash. My liner was beginning to sort of dry up on me again. I'll probably have to fix this lash before I take my final photos, but I'm going to attempt to overdraw. I'm not very good at this, so let me start in the center. Let me stop talking. Well, I guess I didn't do so bad. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take the Avon True Red and I'm just gonna use this as my lip. Let me see if I can repair my lash and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have fixed the damaged lash, <laughs> but this is my final look. I wanna thank you guys so much for selecting my channel to watch today. Make sure that you go and visit all the other ladies that have participated in this month's collab. 
I will leave their channel links down below in my description box. It's time for a Roaring 23. You all take care and I'll see you soon. See you next time.